So to place the exterior pavement, we would use the floor plan to do that. So navigate back to your floor plan. We're going to use the guidelines we have to create the exterior pavement. Pick up one of the guidelines you have already here. If you don't have this one here, just pick a new one and place at the interior line, core line of the exterior walls. Pick up the guideline and click on Control to copy that and move it three meters away from the first one. Click Enter. So we want the distance between these two to be three meters. Select the vertical guideline we have here. Place it on the exterior skin of the exterior wall first, and then move it 0.6 meters away. Hit enter, we want it to be 600 millimeters away from the outer surface of the exterior wall. We'll repeat the same here. To do this, simply pick up a new guideline place on the outer skin, pick up that same guideline and move it 0.6 meters away from the wall. We'll do the same horizontally to place um, a guideline 600 millimeters away from the wall. Pick, type in 0.6, enter. So this is where our uh, Exterior pavement will be so we want exterior pavement to cover this whole place. In order to start drawing, activate your slab tool. Make sure you're on composite, and then we'll choose exterior pavement. Leave every other thing as it is. However, in order not to create the same issue we had the last time, let's change the offset to home story to minus 0 0.05. And then we would override the surfaces. We want this to be pavement brick moss. So let's find pavement brick moss, that's it. We also want the side to be, uh, for us to override the side and we'll give it the same pavement brick moss. In terms of the categories, this, this will be slab 002, it's load bearing, it's not load bearing because it's outside the structure and it's exterior. For layer, let's put this site and landscaping terrain as the layer because it's outside the building and it's not load bearing. And then we'll click on OK. So for this one, we will not use the rectangular geometry method, we will use the polygonal. Why? Because the shape is irregular, so we will need to be able to draw the exterior pavement along this piece. Starting from anywhere, just start tracing the exterior pavement. Next point, that point, there, there, and then close it up. You realize that when you get to the where you started, your cursor changes to a hammer sign indicating indicating um, that you have got into a loop as so you're closing the loop. Just click OK. And you've drawn your exterior pavement. If you hit escape to deactivate the slab tool and select your slab, the pavement, this is how the pavement will look. Um, what we should do right now is let's take away some of the guidelines because they are making the whole place look messy. So we'll take this off. Dispose them in the bin. And this is what we have. This is how it looks. So if you go to 3D, this is how it will look. 